to get rid of the, the older ones. Uh, still good otherwise, and uh, there was actually Department of Defense contractors and State Department officials that were specifically asking for ballistic helmets. We knew we had over 300 of these that were set to be uh, destroyed, and we thought this is just a good way that we can divert those and, and help the people, and they specifically asked for these, so we, we hope it does help them. What do, you, what do you think it means to the person who actually ultimately gets to wear that helmet? Well, you know, it, I ho hopefully it saves their life or it helps them uh, be able to fight back against this oppression in, in some small way. Uh, and maybe it will save their life. But uh, when we watch what's going on on TV, we all ask, and I know people around here have asked, what can we do? And this is just one small token of uh, our appreciation for the people that are fighting for their freedom and for democracy. We all have democracy in this country, obviously. and, and uh, you know, they're fighting for theirs right now, so in this small way, we will help them. How hard has it been to watch the images on TV and hear the stories of what's happening there? Sure. So on the heels of Afghanistan, I think everybody know we, we helped some uh, Afghan refugees as well. Uh, it's just heartbreaking to see around the world that this is going on and that we can't do something to, uh, to help. So when uh, DOD and State Department vendors asked for this, we thought we are, we are definitely going to contribute. I know some other law enforcement agencies are pitching in as well. Uh, and maybe in some small part, we'll uh, be able to hold the line in Ukraine and they'll be able to push back uh, this aggression and uh, lives will be saved. I know that military service is very important to you from your background and your personal role. You have friends. Just when you see the strength of the people fighting for democracy, not Americans, but we know that so many of our leaders are Americans here. When you see that, just how inspiring, just how important is it? Yeah, it's truly inspiring. When you think about our country having the democracy and the freedoms that we've had for over 250 years, uh, to see another uh, country fight for what we've already fought for, and in some cases take for granted, uh, it, it does. Um, it's emotional to watch those folks out there with handguns and rifles, and then some even wearing uh, ballistic helmets similar to this in the street fighting toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe with the Russian aggression. It's, um, it's heartwarming to know that people want to fight that hard for democracy. And how long do you think it will be before they actually, some of the guys should be able to wear that helmet? So we're actually working on the paperwork with DOD now, and I would expect probably within the week these will be on their way there. And without getting into the details of how they get there, this will be a small part of a larger shipment that will be going to help uh, Ukrainian citizens specifically. We've taken a few days to vet uh, the vendors that are involved, the DOD, State Department officials, uh, and how this are going to get routed to those uh, Ukrainian folks. And I'm confident that probably this time next week they will be on their way to the citizens of the Ukraine. So we have over 340 of these that we will be sending over there. The request was for 50,000. So DOD, State Department, and a lot of the vendors that sell this equipment to law enforcement are trying to get other agencies to contribute and hopefully reach that number. Can you kind of hold that on to the side for the sure. Good. All right, thanks guys, I really appreciate this.